Update. Ravens fantasy update. Her team's gonna crush you and make you look stupid. Welcome to the Monday after Sunday, bloody Sunday. That is because of what happened in Survivor Leagues yesterday. I'm in a huge league. We lost 4,000 teams oh my God. on picks of the Rams, Colts, Ravens, Texans, and Falcons. Wow. All went down yesterday. I went in with two teams, picked the Chargers and Rams. Chargers did their job, but the Rams lost to the Buccaneers in a game that was like a Madden game. 55 to 40. That's crazy. Jeez. 95 points scored in an NFL game. I thought the Rams were supposed to have this vaunted defense. They were not on the field yesterday. I don't know who was. Garbage. <laughs> they have Aaron Donald, supposedly the best defensive player in football. His name was called zero times. I don't know what he They were out partying hard the night before. <laughs> but his team Burbank Ballers goes cruise to victory. The game was already won going into Sunday night's game. Score right now, 100 to 83. And I still have Chris Boswell kicking tonight. But overall, not a great performance from Burbank Ballers. Lucky enough to catch a team who performed worse than we did. Rip. <laughs> now, Menace was uh, very upset when you're with your head-to-head fan duel uh, yeah? matchup because I guess apparently you made changes last minute. Okay, well, let's I, talk about that. Let's talk well, about it. I didn't say I was upset. Week four, Ravy versus Menace. Our teams revealed on Thursday. 80% of the audience going with Team Menace. And yes, yeah. I had that Rams defense who were worth negative two <laughs> until they scored a touchdown. Then they ended up being worth six. But they gave up six touchdowns. Rage tweeted right at the Rams. <laughs> you guys suck. Right. I bet that really hurt their feelings. Yeah, destroyed. <laughs> I'm sure they saw it. Right. Okay, now here's the problem. Sometimes you end up overthinking things. And I usually don't watch pregame for that reason. Because I'll watch pregame and then get sucked into a move. But Cameron and I had an event Sunday morning, so I'm waiting for him watching pregame. And they said Melvin Gordon was going to be in the lineup for the Chargers. So I took Austin Eckler out of my lineup. And replaced him with Derrick Henry. I texted Menace. I told him I was making the change, why I was making it, and I tweeted the information. So I can't be accused of cheating. Well, not Maybe. that. You cheated. 40 minutes before. Well, not that you, you even it. owed him that explanation. I gave it. I gave it anyway. Because huh. so many, because everybody would be like, well, Ravy's cheating yeah. again. Uh-huh. She's cheating. But that's not cheating. I know I it's not it. cheating, but the people out there think it is. You didn't <laughs> change your flex, too? I did change a flex because I ended up so having more money. you made two money. changes. Yes. Cheater. Look. Two changes. It was a mistake because Gordon left the game with a hamstring. Eckler was the top performer for either team. 26 points for Menace. Henry had 11 points. Thanks for the effort. And the fumble. But here's where Team Menace has problems and why people are enamored with his teams. He's a front loader. So he spends big money on big players. So when it comes time to fill out the whole roster, he always ends up with w- at least one player who doesn't see the field. And that would be Jesper Horstead, his <laughs> tight end from the Chicago Bears. Because he's only $4,000. Mm-hmm. And that's all he had to spend. Plus, very pedestrian days. From Patrick Mahomes, DeAndre oh, yeah. Hopkins, and Sammy Watkins. Menace ends up with 94.2. And while I was sweating it out, I got solid, if not desperate, performances from Todd Gurley and Cooper Cup. As the Rams tried to come back, I ended up with 108 points and a sweet, sweet taste of victory. Now, Menace, she could have made seven changes and <laughs> it still wouldn't be cheating. I, I agree, but I'm saying that I, don't know if you I could have made some changes too. You could have. But why even announce your lineup if you're just going to change it 40 minutes between, before? Because things happen right up until Dude, kickoff. Dude, I'm taking the L, but I'm just saying when I posted online that she was changing it, listeners got upset. I guess that's saying, people don't know what they're talking about. Because people complain they, about things all they don't understand. swing to Team Menace. They're all on Team Menace. And no, they think why? that I'm like the big evil well, no, people, empire. People like the underdog. I get <laughs> sure. that. All right. Now, what's going to be interesting yeah. this week? Underdoggy. I should just, I don't know, just make a lineup for fun and then change it 40 oh minutes my before. God. That's all. You're taking the L, huh? I am. What's sore g- loser. I'm not a sore loser. It's going to be interesting this week. Our head-to-head matchups are the Sunday day games and the Chiefs play Sunday night. Yeah, don't be right. I would love to see her <laughs> lose, Menace. Like, Ouch. that would be fantastic. Come on. But I'm just... 
it's so weird that you're on her side that because be those able are the to rules. Everything. I'm just saying those are the rules. It's really and it turned player. out to be it's a bad really move. Rules for the, the segment the game. though to announce the lineup and then change. You're it going right head before. to head in the FanDuel matchup. I agree, and I agree those are the rules of the FanDuel matchup. All right, so then... But why don't we just, like, announce them, I don't know, Friday then? Less time to change it. I don't because know. Because you can still make changes <laughs> Saturday. Yeah, or why don't we do, like, a live, a live stream, like, 10 minutes before it, and then announce... <laughs> because in the grand scheme of yeah. things, man, it doesn't really matter. Just make the changes. It's a battle between you and Ravy. They want right. to see who wins at the end of the season. I texted you personally. It's not then about a social media so, post about who's on what team. All you right. can always make a change. Then why even announce it oh all together? God. Just take the loss. Uh, Greg, I, I, with me a I see Menace's point. Why make a big to do about your lineup if it's if you can just change? Because it? I had a panic because I watched pregame. <laughs> that I don't normally watch pregame. I normally will not have that panic. That's why I'm done pregame. Well, do, be like me and don't watch the pregame. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Or any of it. Make right. this the one weekend you don't watch it. Why is there an NFL network? Why do they do analysis? Why do right. they break things down? Because yeah. people want like to see the process and kind of an analyze things. That's and, right. I'm all about yeah. the process. There's still last minute changes that could happen. And the sweet, sweet victory. So we'll see who Menace picks this week because he won't have access to his Chiefs. All right, well, there you go. So Ravy goes up uh, three weeks to one. Rip. Pretty good ratio. All Though right, it was, yeah. I right was, Although she was sweating out a little bit. Look, my mm. deodorant was definitely battle tested <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And it worked well. I would say Menace mm. is sweating, but that's like all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah.